Hi everybody, Dale Campbell here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Today I'd like to tell you about our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. This is the premier model in the Cajun red tint coat. It's a beautiful choice, great looking vehicle. We've complemented the interior with jet black leather interior and uh, you'll really enjoy this vehicle if you decide to make it yours. In front of course we're going to have the LED headlamp or daytime driving lights along with the projector headlamps. You'll notice down below, of course, you got those chrome accents around the fog lamps. Sharp looking wheels and tires, folks. I really like the new badging, how they spelt that out on the doors. The chrome accents on the bottom part of the door, door handles, and then, of course, around the windows. Let's take a peek at the inside. Of course, full power drivers and front passenger seats. Those are heated and cooled front seats, folks. And of course, as you see, we've got the full power on both driver's and passenger front seat. We'll sit down inside and take a peek now. The center console has lots of room for you to store items in. As you can see, there's a lamp in there. There's a tray. You can lift that out. Nice deep area. The tray, of course, provides you a, a, a space for items for little things. And of course, you got the electric parking brake along with um, the the uh, shifter for the transfer case because now new for 18 you can control what the drive line is doing you can shift it from just two-wheel drive which would make it a front-wheel drive vehicle to the four-wheel drive which actually is like having it in the auto mode and then of course you see we've got the the train mode and then of course the trailer mode off to the left of course the traction control and or the uh, lane departure warning switch to turn it on and off Ahead of that, of course, we've got a couple cup holders. I realize it's a little dark, hard to see in here, but there is a wireless charger there that will work on some phones, some smartphones, not all. And then, of course, right uh, below that light there to the left is the two um, USB ports along with a, a uh, iPod plug. And then there's a 12-volt power outlet. Powered with a 3.6-liter V6 and a nine-speed automatic transmission where you can shift that transmission up and down manually if you need to, otherwise just have it work as the automatic. Of course, on the radio, it's the eight-inch color touch MyLink radio where you can listen to your radio or to your uh, music off from your phone, streaming through Bluetooth if your phone's capable, or listen to AM, FM, or XM at your choice. You'll see on the, uh, the center of that screen, of course, approximately, it says projector. It's because if you have an Apple phone or an Android phone, you can plug in and use your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We can go through that with you when you're here. This vehicle is also equipped with navigation. So besides using your Android or Apple to have navigation on that screen, the car does come with it. Along with you can get OnStar turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So lots of options to help get you where you're going. Also have another new feature where that camera button here at the top, when the car is running, that can show you a live feed from the front of the car or the back of the car. And of course, when you do have the car in reverse, that becomes a backup camera. Remember, you can use um, hands-free calling, uh, hands-free where your voice activated to change the radio station to stream music from your phone using, again, correct phones. You can uh, stream that with your voice or change those uh, what you're listening to with your voice. So we'll take a peek now, work our way towards the back seat. This vehicle is also equipped with a uh, dual sunroof. Of course, that glass in the front is the one that would move up and, you know, vent or open. And then, of course, the glass in the back is the fixed glass. Allows additional light in the back seat. This is a seven-passenger, a seven, yeah, seven-passenger vehicle because, of course, we've got buckets here in the second row. I realize it's a little dark. might not be that easy to see in here, but it is a... Uh, second row buckets those seats do fold down we've also changed how you move that second seat and i'm going to move that because now you can put if you're got an infant seat now you can leave that in that seat and yet gain access to the third row i know this isn't going to show very well in this video but i'm going to move that seat and then i'll step back where you can see the light and uh, see what i'm talking about so now that seat is flipped up gives you access to go into the third row as you see there but your child's seat could still be there if it's a forward-facing seat. Obviously, if it's a rear-facing seat, it wouldn't work. I get that. That seat will also fold backwards, but that gives you access to that third-row seat. 
I'll put this back now and demonstrate how that seat will fold down flat for you also. So now if you had the third row seat folded down, it'd give you a longer space to haul things. We'll move our way towards the back of the car now, where we've got the rear cross traffic alert. You don't see those sensors there in the sides of the car. It's got the ultrasonic rear park assist, so that's those four round sensor buttons in the rear of the bumper. Up here there's a couple cameras underneath the bow tie. One is for the backup camera, one is for the surround vision. Both very handy. So just, it's also got a hands-free tailgate. I'm going to demonstrate that. I've got the remote in my pocket. Then of course you got your left tail lamp and then you got the ultrasonic rear park assist right there. If we take our foot and just pass it underneath there, we're going to get the rear gate to open. Maybe I didn't bring that remote with me. I did. There we got it to go. So, right now that gate is open in the three-quarter mode. You can set it, I'm sorry, the full mode. We can set it at three-quarters where we can program how high you'd like it to open. As you can see, we got the left rear seat folded down. The right one would do the same underneath this nice uh, rubber floor mat because it's got the all-weather protection package. We've got a very deep floor well. Guys, it's about 10 inches deep and it goes the width of the vehicle. You'll see that when you stop in and we'll show you and take you for a ride in the vehicle. Of course, in the back third row area, there are uh, USB ports back there on each side for your people that have or that need to ride in the third row to be able to power up their their devices. And then, of course, in the very back here, we've got a 12 volt power outlet. We also have the ability to put a cargo net back here. And of course, I'm going to close that again now using my foot. Tail lights flash. You heard the chime, and down comes the gate. It's a very handy, hands-free feature. We'll make our way around now. Of course, we've gone capless, guys and gals. We open that gas door. No gas cap there. It's a nice new feature. It's a passive entry system, so as long as you have the remote in our pocket or in your purse, gals, or wherever, you, as long as you have it with you, see the little chrome, of course, it's a nice chrome door handle, but that chrome button right there. If we press that, we can lock the whole vehicle like I just did. So I don't know if we can get that button so you can actually see it. Yeah, there you can. So that just unlocked it. That unlocked the rest of the car. We'll go through that when you stop in. It's a nice feature, very hands-free convenience. The music you'll enjoy inside, of course, is Bose. There's a switch for the interior where you can adjust it from max to three-quarter opening for the rear gate. Of course, you've got your power window switches, the rear window lock switch, your mirror controls, your settings for the memory for the driver's seat, driver's one and driver two, and of course the power door locks. It's got automatic headlamps like we've been used to forever. Other nice safety features, we're going to just jump inside quick and take a peek. Of course, got our cruise control here, the, the uh, forward collision alert switch there. Very comfortable with a nice heated steering wheel. And of course on the, the um, right side of the steering wheel you've got your voice to talk button for the phone or radio and of course if you want to, once you're done with your phone call, you can hang it up. Or if you didn't want to answer the phone, press that and it would hang that phone call up. It has an electric tilt and telescoping steering wheel. With not, the switch is right over here on the side where we can raise that column higher or lower. I can telescope it out towards me. I realize it might not be that easy to see on this projection. But I'm going to just start it because I want to show you how once the, rate, once the vehicle is started, again, a nice display screen. Your tack on the left, it is equipped with auto stop start, so at times that motor will stop when you come to a stop sign, stop light, and so forth. Wi Fi capability, as it tells you there. Tachometer, the speedometer there on the right, but the digital speedometer, and then that white square on the right of that digital speedometer shows you the speed limit of the road you're traveling. Keep in mind, guys and gals, that's only going to be accurate if the satellite above is giving the information to the car. And of course, your gas gauge, and of course, temp gauge. So we're going to go back over to this radio. I'm going to press this, this button here. See, right now that's a camera. That's a live feed showing us what is ahead of us. If I want to see what's behind us, I press right here, and it switches to behind us. So very handy. And then, of course, uh, just to the left there, that's a 360-degree view, right? That is showing uh, from a camera on the front, the front of the vehicle. There are cameras under both 
outside rear view mirror showing in the side, and then of course a camera off the back, a separate camera off the back that's looking down. So it gives you a good 360 degree view. That all will come on when we put it in reverse. And then notice those projection marks move as we turn our steering wheel to project where you'd end up. Of course, once you put the vehicle back and drive, of course, because I have that right now turned on, it would take us back to that camera, okay? Otherwise, you're just typically going to drive with the radio or the nav or whatever you like on there. But it's a nice safety feature. You can check out when you're pulling into a parking lot. How close are you getting to that, that sidewalk or curb? Remember, you want to stop and not pull over it so you don't wreck stuff underneath the front of the car. So, remember, now the vehicle is equipped with OnStar, with XM. Um, we'll show you how the, of course, that's a reminder for the rear seat. I had the rear doors open within 10 minutes of starting. Just a helpful reminder to take a peek in the rear seat in case you have groceries or a young child or anything like that. As I was saying, though, the vehicle is equipped with OnStar Wi-Fi capability. We'll go through that with you. We'll help you if you have a smartphone, download your remote link app onto your phone where you can start or stop or sound your horn on your vehicle from any distance. It's really a handy feature where the remote has about a 200-foot range. So... The 2018 Chevrolet Traverse, you know, I just touched the surface of all the features that this vehicle has. Please stop in, take one for a drive. It'd be a great vehicle for you. Um, my name again, Dale Campbell here at Don Johnson Motors. You can reach me here at 715-475-1414. Thanks for stopping and watching my video today.